When making maps, people spend a lot of time on the ground and the walls of the levels, but they don't actually spend much time on the sky, so you're left with this big blank nothingness called sky. When you're walking up steps and stuff, you look up, and there needs to be something there. There needs to be something going from that house to that house, and ropes are the perfect thing for this. So to make ropes, I select the entity tool, click in the level, click on the selection tool, double click on that entity I just made, I'm going to make this a keyframe rope. There. I'm going to call this one rope one because it's the first rope that I've made. I'm now going to copy and paste this twice. The second one I'm going to call rope two and the third one I'm going to call rope three. Now you can choose how many you want. I suggest having two because ropes need to have two ends to them or do they? But you can have as many as you like and have it as complex as you want and everything. I'm just going to use three. Now to link them up, I'm going to select the first one and select the next keyframe to rope two. That links this one to this one. Now I want to link this one to this one. So I'm going to select the second one and set the next keyframe to rope three. There, these will now all be linked. So when you see it in the level, you'll see a rope go whoo and dangle from them. I want them to dangle a bit more because the original dangliness isn't enough so I'm going to set the slack value to 64. This makes it dangle a lot more. You can change all the options. You can have barbed wires which look a bit weird. Uh, subdivision just shows how complex the rope is. I haven't seen any difference between the values but you might. So just mess around with that. I like the default settings because they look best to me. Now once you've made this just to make it easier for you, select the first one and change it to a move underscore rope. Just need to set all the next keyframes up again. There. All this does is to make a nice little line between them so you can see where the rope will go in the level. It doesn't show the dangliness, but it shows the rough position of the ropes. So there, this, that's the tutorial done. I'll just position them in the level where I want them to be now. First one. second one, third one. And this is what it looks like in the level. You can change the dangliness and get it perfected. It's never right first time, but hey, that's part of mapping. Have fun!